Good morning and welcome to City Line. I'm already having a good time with this beautiful woman who you're going to find out about in just a second. We are live every Thursday morning and this morning of course is February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. So an early happy Valentine's Day to you and all the people you love. We have a great hour ahead of us. Later on in the hour we'll be talking with Tacoma Urban League, someone who I love, adore, and I stalk her on Facebook and Instagram nonstop. Their CEO and Executive Director Twina Nobles is here to talk about the great work that the Tacoma Urban League is doing here in Tacoma. And then we have Symphony Tacoma is here and Karina Barn is here. She's our executive director. It's been a while since she's been on the comfy couch. We're going to talk about what she's been up to in her year and a half in her new job and about the upcoming concert they have scheduled uh, for us to enjoy. And then Hilltop artist Winter Warmer is here. Dr. Kimberly is here along with uh, Monique and also Trenton and they're going to talk about this new event they have coming up and a special award that they have just been given. And then of course Humane Society is here with our pet of the week and then with me, uh, do I have a great job or what? This is a woman who I have admired, adored when I got to meet her in person. Um, she inspires me nonstop because every conversation I have in Tacoma, at every coffee house, at every boardroom, somehow the work that she has done is evident there. So please join me in welcoming one of our most valued treasures, Melanie Denise Cunningham. Hello, love bug. Amanda. Yep. Girl. It's, it's you and I. That was wonderful. It's the truth. I. I love you, girl. Well, I love you, and, too. And in the spirit of Valentine's Day, which is a social construct, you know, we... Yeah, it whatever, is. Whatever every, that is. Every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> every day. We're supposed to love every day. Because tomorrow's promise to no one, so love someone today. Yes. We call you the Peace Queen, and you Thank are the you. Peace Queen. <laughs> You are. Next time you come on, I'm going to get you this big, big crown. Um, <laughs> Can you, I tell you something, though? Yeah. I made that name up. Well, I made okay. it up. You, and, and it sticks. Because it, it is sticking. It is sticking. Because I was awarded the Greater Tacoma yes, Peace Prize, are. right? The Peace Laureate. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, hmm, that's just like one year. I'm the 2018 Peace yes. Laureate. But I, I want to... I want this to be I want a this to be a legacy, and it is. Right? It is. Yeah, that's it. So, Peace Queen. You're the Peace Queen. <laughs> You've been involved in the city of Tacoma for as long as I can remember. Um, your love for our community is great. We have a video we're going to show. You do? Uh, we do, of an hour. Here it is. Oh, look at my video. So, look at you. So, tell us about this video. Girl, this was uh, the cherry on top of life, actually. I'm are. the founder of the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. celebration in the city of Tacoma. And to be invited back to speak for uh, this event was amazing. And I got to remind people that I was the founder. Yes. And um, many, which many people don't know. And I got to remind them about the blood, sweat, and tears of what it means to go first and to do things, to pioneer, to you know, break through, yeah. mainly because I wanted to encourage people that are innovators to just keep on going. Just do it. Even when people are going to assassinate your character and try to uh, take you down and uh, annihilate your ideas, just just stay focused on what's in your belly, that fire in your mm, belly well that said. says, this is what I'm supposed to be yes. doing. Just do it. And so being here to speak right now, that is God saying to me, as I'm even watching this as we're talking, that's God saying to me, girl, your work is good. Yes, and it will come full circle. So let's talk about it coming full circle. First off, how did you become the Peace Queen? We have some pictures of this. <laughs> so my girlfriend, and this is testimony of being surrounded by really good people that love and recognize you. My girlfriend, Joanne Lasoski, biggest cheerleader. She's always saying, I 
girl, I, I love you. Aww. And so she came to my office one day and she says, I'm nominating you for the Peace Prize. And uh, the year that she nominated me the first time, I didn't get it. And then she came back around and she said, I'm going to nominate you again. And I'm like, girl, go ahead. That's fine. You know, just... Just do what, do what you, you do. Gonna do. Yeah. Just do what you do because I don't do the work for recognition, right. and most ser and servants, right? True servants don't, don't. do the work for recognition. No. You are so humble. I never hear you talk about yourself. It's always people are talking about what you have done, but it's never you promoting yourself, Melanie. Martin Luther King spoke to me through a quote. Yes. That your quality of life is measured by the work you do for the masses of the people. Not, it's not for yourself. Mm. You're looking at what affects the masses of the people. So yeah, she, I never even think about that. So, I just so work. there it was, you were nominated and then you went to Norway. I did. Okay, well, let me back up for a second because I always want to be in that moment. When you got the message, first off, did you get it through a phone call? I did. It was a phone call. Because they always say a phone call comes at 2 in the morning. Yep. You think, is this it? No, I got the phone call. It was on April 4th, and it was the 50th anniversary of the Martin Luther Ooh. King Jr. Um, murder, assassination. Assassination. Yep, yeah. assassination. And um, Martin Luther King has been such... Uh, um, phenomenal has made a phenomenal impact on my life but I didn't I wasn't thinking of it like right then and then they asked me <laughs> um, well there's we want to know if you want to accept the honor you've been, you've been awarded this and we want you to go to the Sinta de Mai that's a Norwegian day celebration and it was a parade in Ballard and they wanted me to go to the parade they wanted me to go to the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony. So I say yes to everything. Absolutely. But the parade, girl. You got the wave down. I, did you wear your crown? I did. <laughs> it was like, oh. There it this is. This is, I got to do that. There was thousands of people out there and I got to do my queen wave. I was so happy. Look at you. From when I was, what, nine years old? I was practicing You that. wanted that. <laughs> Okay, so I want to I want to talk about before and, he, and here's a picture of you. Oh, that's Olaf. Down. Yeah, I'm actually at the Nobel Institute, and he's the person that facilitates the actual selection of the Nobel Peace Laureate. Wow. And so we had a great a great meeting. The thing about the Tacoma Peace Prize is that they have such a connection um, to the Nobel um, folks in Norway that we, the Peace Laureates, they lay out the red carpet, ooh, 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 ooh. That's when I was standing at the podium where they make the announcements. I wasn't supposed to be there, but I got there real fast and took a picture before he told me no. <laughs> so we have a video here we're gonna look at. I want, I want to cue this up before we run out of time, and then we're gonna talk about what peace means to you. Yes, that so sounds So roll good. that video. All right. Queen. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo. I got head to toe chills on that one. Yeah. When you started this work, what was your, has your definition of peace changed from when you started to what it is today on the couch? I don't know that I knew when I started. I've just been living my best life to the highest good in praise to God. And so, it wasn't defined that way. Um, but I can tell you, like with the Martin Luther King Jr. celebration, which was, was part of the nomination, that was a hard situation. Yeah, People weren't trying to be happy about having this celebration. It wasn't even a holiday in the city of Tacoma at that time. And so it was a lot of push through. It was super hard, um, but I pushed through. Mm -hmm. And so I, my definition of peace, and at least, let me say it this way. I was in Norway with the leading peace researchers and experts in the whole world. And when I asked them to define peace, they said it was hard. You can't really. You can't okay, really Okay, so let define. me ask you this question in these last few minutes, because I need a whole hour with you. Yeah. What 
What does peace not look like? So, okay. What they, what they told me is peace is the absence of conflict. Everyone was clear on that. And then what my takeaway was is that peace is personal. Peace is inside of you. Peace is how you show up. Peace is what you determine that you will be. Peace is, is how you present. And so it's a choice to be mean. It's a choice to, to spew hate. Yes. It's a choice. Everything is a choice. And so if you understand um, you and who you are and make a commitment, and that's what I'm asking all citizens to do, my message as Peace Queen is it's all about love. Oh, I love that. That's my message. It is all about love. And so let's show up that way. Mm -hmm. pause before you respond there we go the big pause I pause. live by pause pause and then please Amanda I mean no disrespect I just want to say it say it out loud white people thank you white I, people I told you you could say this let's okay. get real thank we have you. one minute white people it's your turn you. to stand up and to sh to really show who you are. This system of racism is a social construct. We know that it's made up. If you study your history, you know what it's all about. That's right. In this season, with all the hate that is coming from our uh, national voices that we supposed to look to for leadership, all the hate that's coming out, we have to take it into our own hands and make sure that we are um, processing this with our children so oh. that they know where to go. And, and how to act. We've got to call it out and say, this is not respectful. This is not how we love. Right. And we love everyone, especially seeking out intentionally uh, people that are different from us so that we can understand the platinum, the golden rule no longer applies. The do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. No, 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 no. Do unto others as they would have you do That's unto right. them. That means you have to um, get to know them. So my bottom line, all power to the people. I love this. All right, I need to have you on the show once a quarter, and we need to have a peace series. Yes. I, I'm all in. All right. All I right. God bless so you, girl. Much. Right back at you. Speaking of forms of love, Miss Meg is here from the Humane Society. Miss Meg, who did you bring with you for our beautiful pet of the week? Well, we are in the presence of an actual angel this morning. This is Lily. Lily, she is so sweet. She over there, look at you, oh goodness. She is a new mom. She is about nine years old. She came to us already pregnant and had her puppies with us and has been staying with us ever since. And now that they're old enough, we wanna find Lily the best home because she has provided such a great space for her babies. And she is, um, like I said, she's about nine years old, we think. She's an Australian cattle dog mix, just, so sweet, so loving, calm, down to earth. And um, we just, we want the best for her as we do all of our animals. Um, so if, if Lily speaks to you today, come visit us. We're at 2608 Center Street here in Tacoma. And um, if you're in the market for another loving friend, we've got cats, we've got bunnies, we've got so many adoptable dogs that can be your next best friend. Meg, thank you so much. Thank you very and much. And much Amanda. love to you and Lily on this uh, on this day of pre Valentine's Day. When we come back, we'll have Hilltop artists here in the house to talk about their winter warmer event. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.